Scenes like these have become common on our streets. Another doctor's strike. Grievances bordering on better pay and improved working conditions for the doctors. Unfortunately, those who bear the brunt of such strikes are the patients with cases of deaths being reported during such times, putting to question doctors out of office to save lives. There is no doctor who qualifies and is happy to see a patient suffering. Not one. In fact, if a patient dies in your hands, the next 48 hours are sleepless nights. You can't sleep. We are supposed to save life not to be witnesses of death. In order to, to give a good service to the patients, you must have a doctor whose welfare is catered for. A gynecologist for 37 years now, Dr. Oshel says the welfare of doctors has a direct impact on patients. He says upgrading and modernization of healthcare facilities will ensure better service delivery to the public. And this is what you see the youngsters, the young doctors are going through. They are going through a frustration of, hey, I came here to help people and I'm not enabled to help them. I have the skill, I know what to do, but I'm not enabled to help them. And this is the cry they are doing on the behalf of the public. For a long time, healthcare has not been a part of development agenda, and with a not so very organized healthcare financing in the country, most of doctors' work is hampered. To bridge the gap, the Kenya Medical Association, apart from being an advocacy group, has set up investment structures for doctors. I don't think it, it, it's good enough for me to be paid whatever it is I'm going to be paid, and I'm posted to an institution where I cannot exercise my skills. I'll still get frustrated, and that's why. The fight has been pay me better, but also improve the facilities. But once you retire or you are ill, you still have to pay your bills. So this is where KMIC was created to enable doctors long-term investment opportunity where they can get long-term uh, income uh, as they get, they get older. And with the adoption of the new constitution that stipulates the right of Kenyans to quality health care, Kenya Medical Association Chairman Dr. Nyaim says KMA will play a major role in ensuring county hospitals are well equipped. And as important stakeholders in the health sector, we must play our rightful role in terms of making sure that as the constitution is being implemented and as devolution is taking place, a lot of loops, uh, loopholes and gaps are not left. So that if I come from, say, a county like I come from, let me then be able to have a level that is almost as good as what we have in Nairobi. Because that's the biggest problem we're going to see. So but perhaps this is a fight that even the public needs to join in. Open to the public if they feel that they have a complaint or they have a consultation they'd like to make, we are, we are willing to advise and give the way forward. And if there are complaints, we can even forward them to the relevant authorities. So it's important for the public to be aware that we exist and we can be able to assist. Yeah. And so until such a time that the government will consider healthcare an important ingredient to development, this is what Dr. Chell has to say. That health is not everything. But without health, everything else is nothing. Maria Ambo reporting for Health Matters.